back on with the ukulele reviews and a wood choice that really threw people with the sneak peek pictures that I put up. Keep watching to find out. Yes, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day. Sorry to miss last week. The whole family here has got a stinking cold, one of the worst ones I've ever had. All sorts of problems with it. Um, we've all got it. Last week was a write-off and we've all tested um, for coronavirus and we've all tested negative. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what I've got. Thank yous for the last couple of weeks running across the bottom of the screen. Thank you to those people. You know what I say this every week. Got a ukulele doesn't get paid to do this. These are the people that mean that I can carry on doing it. I couldn't do it without them. So thank you so much for that. And if you like what you see, why not think about subscribing to this channel? And if you hit that bell symbol, you'll get notified when stuff comes up because it's been a bit erratic in the last few weeks. Okay, I've reviewed this brand before and it, uh, it's a wood type on this one that really did throw people. The brand is called Mahi Mahi. Uh, they are the house brand of the Mercantino Dello Ukulele store in Caldogno, Italy, which is part of the Aquila brand. Really quite liked the instrument I looked at last time, uh, the Martin-esque thing. And this is the Mahi Mahi MT70Z tenor. And this is all about the striking looks because this is the back and sides is what threw people. This is a standard double bout tenor with a solid spruce top. And this back and sides, a lot of people thought it was spalted. Uh, it's not spalted. This is black and white ebony. Um, that's the same uh, ebony as usually black ebony that's used for fingerboards and bridges uh, piano keys and things like that but this is a different variety of it that is in the main this cream color with this black grain so it's not spalting that is actually the wood grain and it is quite the looker um my first gripe i'm afraid mahi mahi your website says that this is solid spruce on the top. I like looking at the sand, edge of the sand hole. It is indeed solid spruce. Uh, the website also says, though, that this is solid black and white ebony. Um, when you look inside the sound hole, there is no matching grain pattern on the inside, so I don't believe it can be. Uh, I think that is laminate, or at least there's a laminate veneer on the inside for some reason. Um, Ohana make an instrument on the same production line, I believe, which is virtually identical to this. They don't make out that the back and sides are solid. Uh, mahi Mahi really need to make that clear because that's an omission. Moving on. This is a rosewood bridge in very nice condition, very nice condition, very tidy, uh, tie bar style, straight topped bone saddle. Not much more to say about it, but it's very, very clean. Uh, decoration wise, we have this sound hole rosette of abalone with like a pale wood uh, outer rim to it. I don't know what the wood is. And this black edge binding to the top and back. I find the edge binding a little bit severe. It's very thick, um, not thick as in it sticks out, but very broad and I think would look better if it was just a bit thinner or something toned down. I think it, it takes over, particularly with all this black and white striping you've got going on here. Inside is pretty tidy, regular uh, bracing, uh, notch linings, and it's all finished in a gloss, which is done really, really well. So apart from this sort of misnomer of how they've named this, the body here, I think, is in great condition. The finish is really excellent. There's no pooling at all. The neck isn't specified, but I think it's made of mahogany. Uh, three pieces, the joints are really well hidden. It's glossed. Uh, tapers off to a fairly flattened, not massively rounded, not broom handle up here, but it's a very average 36 mil nut with 28 from G2A. The fingerboard is in superb condition. I mean, look how glossy it is in this light. Uh, it's rosewood, not a mark on it. Really, really nice condition. That holds 19 frets with 14 to the body. Position dots at 5, 7, 10, 12, and 15. And a big omission, there are no side dots. Um, you know, come on, everyone puts side dots on now, don't they? Okay, moving on. The headstock, um, inoffensive shape, uh, faced in more of the black and white ebony, which is a nice touch to tie it together. And you may notice, although it's incredibly hard to see, there is the Mahi Mahi logo. Now, I said in the last review I didn't like the Mahi Mahi logo, but at least on that model, they had put the logo on the back. It's a dolphin, by the way. Uh, I think it's just completely lost here. In fact, um, it's really hard to see it. Uh, I think that's odd. The tuners are excellent, open gear Grovers, really superb tuners, absolutely no complaints with those. And it comes with nothing else, the strings are Aquila, surprise, surprise, this is part of the Aquila business. 
Um, it was always going to be a Quilly Strings, wasn't it? Um, and there we are. It comes in at a price. Now, this is why I did a bit of an intake of breath, considering I do believe this is laminate back and sides. This is 528 euros. That's a lot of money. Saying that, that Ohana model I, I uh, mentioned earlier, which is identical, um, is more on the RRP. So maybe I'm getting something wrong here. Maybe this wood, and I know this wood is very rare and very expensive, so maybe that's what's knocking the price up. But... You still no getting away from the fact this is a solid top instrument, laminate back and sides for 528 euros. I think that's quite expensive. But aside from that price, um, I, the, it's really, really well put together. It's, it's in great condition, no sharp fret ends. I didn't mention that, but not heavy, 555 grams, balances really nicely. The finish is superb on it, actually. Uh, it just feels all really, really good and solid. But we're going to have a plate. Um, and I snapped a string on this this morning, so if you find that the G string is going out, that's why it won't have settled fully, because uh, it's only been on for about an hour. My fault. They see. All right. Okay. Volume. Really, really good. It's a very loud instrument. The sustain. Nice. Really, really barreling back into my chest. brightness from the spruce but there's a real sort of richness going on as well. a jangly sound come on G string settle down nice nice strummed finger picked That's a really nice sounding instrument, a very nice sounding instrument, plays very well too, really got loads of life to it, not a lot of effort to go in to get that sound out of it, so it's a lively thing. I love the build of it, I like the look of it, um, it's a very attractive looking instrument, I've got gripes, uh, they do need to sort out that product description, no side dots, that headstock logo seems pointless to me, but otherwise, and the price. Am I doing it a disservice on the price? Maybe it is, Luthiers will tell me, maybe this wood is just really highly expensive. But if it is really highly expensive, don't use it, use something else. 528 euro seems too much for me. But it is really well put together, it's really well finished, nice tuners, um, plays and sounds really good. So I'm kind of like this with it. I understand that it's an, it's, it is a good instrument. It's a very good instrument, but it has its issues. Um, but still, been really fun to look at. The Mahi Mahi MT70Z tenor in solid spruce top, black and white ebony, back and sides. Um, quite the head turner. Uh, you would certainly be noticed playing this one. Um, yeah, a nice one. Right, okay, I just about got through that without sneezing and coughing and spluttering. I uh, should be back next week, assuming this lurgy doesn't linger on too much worse. Uh, but thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, it's been enjoyable. Take care. Look after yourselves this week. And I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.